Oh, that's what we need. I assume we don't have any more glass sitting around the base. None that I have. Okay. Well, out of deference and or pity for the other, uh, for the other hillside, I'm going to just start digging <laughs> holes into this one. No, no, you got to end in suffering. That's grim. <laughs> grim? Oh, I'm totally suffocating, speaking of grim. <laughs> Or did we? <laughs> Could you put the soil processor on the truck? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> it's yes, big enough. Yes, I could. Yeah. <laughs> it is. We have sufficient space on the large buggy to do so. Or the, the large rover. The main reason why you wouldn't want to is because it's real tall, and I think that would have problems. I mean, it sounds kind of beautiful. I mean, you need to store all that stuff that you put in it, though, right? Uh, oh god, I could just hang it off the back. <laughs> <laughs> I see no problems. What is going on with this thing? Wait. Dude, come over here. <laughs> you uh, suspect what the heck? I'm doing one thing. It's fine. There's no there's no immediate rush. I'm just realizing that this thing is goofy. Okay. Next question. Oh no. Sad. No man sad. I I think about that comic every once in a while. Anyway, <laughs> check out the uh Large check seat. Out the suspension on this thing. Oh, it's not doing it anymore. Let me let me see if I can make it lighter. Here we go. Like if you hang out on the front and the back, you can absolutely just rock this thing around. <laughs> I I had I, it almost like flip over because I was uh I was just like standing on the front. It's, I mean, it's not doing it, it anymore. It's Dang gotta it. be light enough that this guy can shoulder press it, right? <laughs> I mean we have yet we've yet to quite determine the depths of this guy's might. <laughs> I mean, apparently can shoulder press an entire vehicle but can't survive a twenty foot or probably it's more like a thirty or forty foot drop. So the gravity thing seems a little bit out, because like if it was really that low of gravity you'd be able to survive that pretty easily. Are we gonna drag race? Uh, I need some power first. Oh, sounds easy. <laughs> um, ooh, we do not have enough organic for this, do we? No. <laughs> you should probably turn those off immediately if they're running. The small generators aren't. They, they don't even have anything in them. But you're right. I should turn them off okay. before putting organic in. Uh, but it's a good return ratio for organic, right? I think so. I guess there's just not that much organic on this world, is there? But also, uh, I... it's it's a one canister to four ratio. So I should just go fill up my canisters more. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I left one back there, and now that's become an issue. I have to be careful not to take any of the things that grant us research over time, though. Uh, you know what? Honestly, given the situation that we're in, I think it's fine. And that we're going to leave and probably never come back here? Uh, well, yeah, but also, like, those little research things are not actually nearly as valuable as they used to be. Hmm, because the big things were always pretty important. Uh, yeah. Mainly. I just I mean, feel like saving those is not, it's not that huge of a loss to lose one. <laughs> yeah. But 
but you know, if I can avoid it. Okay, so sad news. Yes. Wait, maybe not sad news. <laughs> it's not worth it. The big rover? <laughs> <laughs> or like how much soil it gets or what? Let me just I'll be over in a second. Check me out. <laughs> ah <laughs> I can get in there, right? Yeah. What's up? It looks like I'm driving, but you're definitely we're out of power <laughs> already. Oh, oh, no. So what makes it not worth it? Uh, Well, no, it's not that it's not worth it. It's just <laughs> what's the, <laughs> you really don't need the soil centrifuge on the front. No, the biggest issue is that thing burns power like crazy. Oh. Uh, like, real bad. Okay, so it has potentially uses, but it's not like necessarily a general purpose replacement from... I think the main answer is just the battery is not great. We'll we'll see. Uh, oh, well, yeah. you just had the base battery on it, right? Yeah, I I didn't even have like a small battery. I just had. Oh, it's it like might default not battery. actually burn power that quickly then. Yeah, we'll like, see. I, I'm waiting. I, I always you... needed to put a battery on it, really, plus like something else to power it. I, I'm waiting until you're done uh, powering this thing, because once we've got the. Uh, once we got this this thing set up, I was gonna pop a drill on the front and we go on an adventure. Ah, ceramic and tungsten carbide. Well, I mean, how much organic do you think we need? Uh, I'd probably plunk one in each generator. That should do the trick. Okay, I suppose I should probably wait to start the science on the next set of things, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I only need a little bit more organic, though. <laughs> I like how it's turning from carving out the mountainside into a giant pit. <laughs> For you. We'll smooth it out. Don't you worry. And then all. I mean Make I'm under the expectation that you'll smooth it out. I'm or just under the expectation we're just going to ha uh, leave this place and then just n ignore the pit. Uh, this is like environmentalism in a nutshell. Look, this yes. is only a problem 100 years down the line. So it's not my problem. It's not even really like maybe my grandkids' problem, I guess. But not while I'm alive for them to be mad at me for it. So... That's something that always gets me a little bit. It's just like, you realize you're screwing everyone over, but... I, you know, it is funny, because I, I do wonder... I, I, I say it like that, but I do wonder if the people who aren't concerned about it, like, do see it that way or not. Because I think there, there are people who believe in climate change, but don't think it's actually a big problem. And there are other people who I think think it is a big problem yeah, but I guess it's... But they would acknowledge it's a big problem. It's just not... Help. I don't know why, but I keep getting stuck on you. Oh, should I, like, move? <laughs> yeah, just, like, do I'm feet. kind of entertained by this. <laughs> I kind of wanted it for me to be mutually stuck as well, and there was no solution out. <laughs> oh, then I just quit out <laughs> and solve all problems. That's true. That would certainly remove me from that situation as well. Well, I think I might be pretty close to allowing us to power the whole base. It's currently sunny, right? So probably it's a good time for yep. it. What did you guys have for dinner? Ooh, um... We had rice cakes that um, were for lunch. Fun. Oh, so you haven't eaten yet? 
Oh, I had the rice cakes. I had more of them for dinner. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Uh, bad news, sun's out already? Yeah, but I actually realized it would take me some time to load all of these different generators. <laughs> I found out why... I had an issue previously where I was wondering why I would run out of organic when it was like placed onto a generator that was in my inventory. And the answer is because they can be on while in your inventory. I think I hadn't fully appreciated how big of an effect that would have. Bonus question. Can we scrap research things? <laughs> like when we're leaving and we're like, just take a bunch of scrap with us instead no, of other stuff? No, we can't. Stuff? That's a shame. Okay. I, I just, you know, we could use some lithium, for example. Oh, yeah. Right, because part of it right now is we do a lot better if we just had a bunch more batteries, actually. Okay, I've almost got it loaded up. All right. How long does nighttime in this game last? Uh, That's like dawn, right? Yeah, yeah. we're hitting dawn shortly. I'll tell you as soon as they're up. Ideally, what we want is a breeze as well. Because having that breeze is going to be somewhat crucial. Probably better than the uh, than the solar. Uh. I'll just turn on all these generators. Yeah, give it a go. Let's see. Let's see if this works. That's enough. Yeah, so it is. Oh, it's going to be tight. I think I've got enough generators on, actually. Yeah, I'm just noticing the batteries. Oh, yep. no, you're right. It is. Shut them all off. Wait. <laughs> oh, even with the medium generator on. All right. Yeah. No, the battery's burnt out. Or is it full, full again, or is it going back up? Oh, okay. I've turned on the uh, medium generator here, which I know is worth a lot of power. Yeah, it's going down. I think we got it. Okay. <laughs> it's not there yet, but... It's okay. The batteries on, are baby. starting to charge up, which is a very good, good. sign. That means they're doing it. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah, we got a bonus breeze there, which helps. Well, I'm going to go ahead and turn off all these generators, even though I'm not sure it matters. Glad to know we can just have enough of those guys. Although, really, that, like... Gosh, that was a lot harder than I was expecting, actually. I thought it was going to be easy after that one planet that I just did with the stack of batteries on <laughs> the back of the tractor. <laughs> Speaking of stack of batteries, these are mine now. Oh, this going on the big guy. You ready? This doesn't look like it does very much good for anyone to have most of it just devoted to powering it though, right? Oh no, but you're um <laughs> part of it is you're you're going to be trying to collect soil and stuff like that, right? Uh yeah. Yeah, because that's a drill. But then, what about the soil? Where's the, where's the collector for that? It's on the other side. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I see. There's just a giant soil canister there. Okay, I can see how this might be efficient. Well, now that that's, that's settled, I'm going to start up the science plastic. again. Do you have another? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I guess you're going to do that, but realistically, I should just go collect some more science things because we're actually out at this point, right? I think so. And we always want to leave a world with a science running on it, right? Yeah, might as well. We still got to get to the center of the planet, though. 
which means we kind of have to determine how we want to get down there. Uh, do you still have your tractor? Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to do gonna that say, strategy again? Yeah. Well, why don't we just use the drill that I made for my my big rig, strap it to the front of your tractor, uh, have me and the train in the back, plus, you know, a power solution, and then we just go straight down. You'll be glad to know the buggy is way, way faster than the tractor and way more able to get air and way more over to go vertical surfaces. <laughs> Actually, I need to double check that, but I think when my character left the buggy, he jumped out the side. Yeah. <laughs> you can really do one of those, uh... <laughs> can you, do you know blame his enthusiasm? <laughs> do you know that, like, that movie trope where, like, it's going off the side of the cliff and you just, like, jump Leap out the side of the last vehicle? Second. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's, like, intended for this, but if you do it, like, the character does do that. We have glass. Oop. A little bit of lag there. I just I'm connected to a different computer to talk to you than I am to the game. So if the game freezes or the computer crashes, I'm still on mic. That's good. I think it might have froze. I'm really disappointed. This is just getting good. Are I should have known to... the boogie would be more fun. Oh, yeah, the game crashed. I'll just get back in. Okay. I guess we'll just have to go on an, ad an adventure to rescue you. Unless you spawn in next to your car, you might. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, because I might spawn near the rocket? Yeah. No, but when we spawn back in, when we reloaded the game, do you just end wherever you were previously? I, I think? Mm, so it depends on what your game thought I was at. I mean, given that your game might be the one tracking the locations, that would mean it's probably updating that frequently, especially each time I get in and out of that buggy, right? I think so. By the way, I'm gonna grind up all of your uh, organic uh, generators. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd go for that. Wait, so those those are worth like one scrap each or something like that? I, are they like probably less than that, but they're worth some amount. I mean, like like each little piece of debris or something. Are they like? Oh, I guess you don't. Really... Everything can be scrapped. I thought you said that the science couldn't be. Science can't be. Every everything that is like industrial, like made. Isn't Oh, you mean like wait, 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 wait. Were you trying to scrap the big like science Orbs. Uh, items? Oh Yes. Why would you do that? Because I was curious. <laughs> but Travesty. Travesty. Uh. So the conversion rate, by the way, on or, uh, organic generators to uh, scrap, not very good. How many pieces can. of scrap do you get out of it? Uh, I'm at two so far. That's not bad. I mean, like... I started with a little bit, but you're right. It's not terrible. If we wanted to mass produce scrap, this is probably where automation would come in handy. Yeah. I gotta say, though, now that I've got this buggy and I can go tooling around the world, I don't see why I wouldn't keep doing this. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're right. It is actually not a bad ratio. Now I kind of want to see if I can automate... Oh, but we need a lot of soil, though. So it's a quarter scrap per generator, I think. So it's effectively quarter scrap per compound, which is real good. Okay. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I just found some debris stuff, so I'll bring that back in a moment. Wait, what is the conversion rate to... Oh, dang it. I was wondering if we'd, we'd have like an infinite loop there, but the answer is no. <laughs> Wait, what? How is that going to work? I wanted to see if I could convert uh, generators into scrap. Uh, generators into scrap. Scrap into compound and then back. But the answer is no. You, you, it's a 50% loss with each one. Yeah, I would have thought they would have mapped that one out pretty 
pretty quickly. <laughs> I just, I want, there's got, I, there's got to be some abuse that we can do here. I can't, I can't see a system and not want to break it. Yeah. Look, ex equivalent exchange is bullshit, and we should break <laughs> it as hard as possible. I mean, in Full Metal Alchemist, they did have the Philosopher's Stone. They did, and I want it. Lithium is above ground or below ground? Isn't lithium for batteries? Yeah, and it's a thing I need to open a science thing here. So I, I don't see think that we have lithium on this planet. If we're on Novus, it's there. Secondary, <laughs> primary is hematite. Secondary is lithium. Wait, really? Yeah. So we could make more batteries even. Oh, I have not seen a single bit of lithium. I, from my experience, it's been underground every time I found it, but I don't okay. exactly go looking very hard. Yeah, well, I'm tooling around the world, so I'll take a look about the above ground stuff. I'm going to get so lost with this buggy. Getting lost has kind of just been my thing in this game. Uh, it goes up such vertical surfaces. <laughs> I wonder if the buggy can power one of these pots, though. Probably not. On. Uh, let's see. <laughs> if oh. only I could just package a whole pot, though. But the buggy doesn't even have, like, an outlet on it, does it? Dang it. Do you ever listen to the artist Broken Broken Bells? Like someone you've listened to? I don't think I've heard of them, no. Uh, Ghost Inside would be one of the well-known pieces that they did. Whoops. <laughs> yes. I'm just on an adventure. That sounds right. promising. Mostly. It's a little funky. Uh, but no, I don't think I've ever heard of that band, actually. Okay. I, I'm not sure if it'd be to your taste or not. Um, it's got some of the, like, disco thing going on. I don't know. I My tastes have... I'm not going to say, like, changed over the years, but, like, I'm not terribly picky. <laughs> really? Yeah. So you used to be picky, you'd say? I don't know. I think I used to have more of a specific taste. Hmm. Like Zircon and... I think, to some small degree, I still like stuff like Zircon and Approaching Nirvana and a couple others. You know, I guess, like, I found... I found some other artists I like a lot more than Zircon, so I still like Zircon, but, like... It's no carbon-based life form or solar fields to me. I've talked to you about those groups, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used okay. to listen to solar fields because they're, they're the ones that did the Mirror's Edge soundtrack. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I found a bunch of lithium, by the way. Hey. What was your favorite solar field song? You know what? They're so non-specific, I can't tell you. <laughs> so non-specific. That's I, like that's the thing I, I like, like about them so much because like they're not like immediately catchy, so you can just kind of listen to Solar Fields for a while and be like, yeah, that was good. And I unless feel I very differently about it. <laughs> really? I mean, I'm I, sure. I feel like I'm every sure single song in Solar Fields and Carbon Life Spice Forms is like so. Like, that genre is definitely, like, what you're describing, but I felt that they're, like, the two artists within that genre that, like, managed to not do that. That's probably true. Maybe it's just kind of a matter of, like, how you approach listening to them. Because I know from my perspective, I usually just kind of listen to them idly without yeah. actually paying attention to what I'm listening to. 
you know, it, it is similar to me in that respect. Um, and that, like, it's, it's often the thing I'm doing while I'm at work. But I guess, do you, I mean, do you ever listen to music actively? Like, just sit there and just listen to a song? Almost never. Uh, yeah. Because my, my thing is I'm specifically... Uh, I'm usually pretty focused on uh, reading, writing, uh, drawing, or whatnot. And it's rare for me to want to just only listen to music. Uh, mm. Unless I'm right about to fall asleep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I would I would hardly ever just listen to music as well. So I, <laughs> I, I certainly understand that. I was just wondering, because you said, described it as specifically part of the way you engage with them. And I thought, gee, that's like the way I engage with all music. <laughs> I guess I'm usually more focused on the other things uh, that I'm working on. Like, um, uh, what's a good example? Well, usually I'm writing, and I don't want to, like, break the flow state just to look up a song unless it's really good. And because, you know, there's very little in carbon-based life forms or solar fields that I dislike, <laughs> I just... It's more important for me to remember the band. Yeah, that makes sense. I think maybe that's it, is that it's more important for me to just have a giant list of bands that I listen to than specifically... Um, a, uh, a list of songs that I like. Though, if there's a song that I specifically really enjoy, I will uh, I will definitely alt-tab and like hit the favorite button on Spotify so I can find it later. Okay. How the heck does move work? Do you and oh. Shell share your Spotify account? Shell you have, like, is a dual? Luddite and refuses to use anything other than YouTube. I've been... I've been paying for Spotify. If you have a premium on it, they have like an option to like have two people on it. We could think about splitting it. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I think it'd save us a it's couple like a of decent bucks. Discount. And then it would also give me an excuse to follow you on Spotify, so I could see what sort of songs you're listening to when I watch <laughs> one of our <laughs> Ashmere games, and I'm like, what? What was that song? That That's not pretty Spotify good. though. I'm actually listening to um, Pretzel oh. because Spotify does. Spotify does not have the best, uh... Uh... Spotify... Shell had a question for me. Uh, Spotify doesn't have the best list for, like, no copyright sounds, like, and I don't trust it. Whereas oh, Pretzel I Rocks see. is very specifically like, hey, um... So all of the music that's there, you know, isn't gonna mess up your video. Correct. <laughs> is a Luddite. I don't know what Luddite even means, really. I mean, I know what it means, that like... refuses to use technology. But, like, what is... Like, it's got a... It's referring to something, right? Uh... I think... I think it's, like, actually just kind of a philosophy. Oh, like, there are people... Like, is that philosophers criticizing each other, though? Or is that, like... No, I, I think it, like it's a way of life. There are people who like self-describe as Luddites. Yeah, kind of like Amish, but not quite, because Amish is like part partly a belief system. Well, and I think interestingly, Amish kind of draws a line of this is the this is the era that we're not moving beyond. But it's yeah. not like they're against like a plow. Like that's technology. So I guess I'd be curious if Luddites issue all technology, because like it'd be pretty hard, even as a hunter-gatherer society, to really say <laughs> live fully without any form of. So any by form the way, technology. Uh, the I'm not really sure if the uh, the soil collector system is worth it. Okay, I'm bringing back a ton of stuff. I actually found that with the buggy, I can travel overland pretty quickly. So I'm fine with this being the main way that we handle things. I'm having a blast, but I caught a glimpse of our base and then managed to 
find myself in an underground cave network that I couldn't manage to bring myself to not climb with the buggy. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I don't think I can. It's kind of funny what the buggy can sometimes not drive over, though. It makes me sad that I cannot take this science item. <laughs> I'm still thinking about being a Luddite in that you refuse to use a particular form of technology, though. So people are saying it's, uh, it specifically was a anti-industrial -in revolution. Um, ah, okay. Thing, because there was, you know, there were a ton of, uh, new bits of technology that were effectively replacing people. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Right, I mean, that's... In some ways, it's funny how, like, when you frame it in that way, it's actually still a very, like, present thing that people yeah. think about. Like, that's not something that just went away after a few decades. <laughs> that's still around. That is a very sympathetic one. Yeah, I mean, I certainly understand it. I think that there's definitely... I think sometimes we don't think about how, like, much it has improved lives. Like, I think yeah. there, was, there was something I was watching recently where I was talking about, like, people in Nepal who had specifically, like, fled a lot of, like, the empires that had been built elsewhere and kind of how their life was changing as a result of, like, China and Nepal starting to, like, really kind of settle the border more and kind of figure out, like, who owns what and build roads and stuff like that in there. And, you know, it's kind of talking about, like, oh, this agrarianism is, like, disappearing. But some of the people they talked to said, hey, you know, I kind of want to, like, not be a yak farmer because you can have a much better standard of living doing other stuff. And it's kind of like, oh, yeah, like, you know, it seems kind of nice, but then, like, you probably don't have, like, great health care and some other stuff. Um, I mean, not to say that trying to join society is always, like, successful. Like, if you end up, like, and I think certainly in America, um, like, there's a lot of people who, who could see industrialization as important, but then if you end up earning minimum wage and having very high rent, you can have a worse lifestyle than people had during the more agrarian times in the United States. And not yeah. to say that, like, everything has uniformly got worse, but, like, you know, when people talk about how America used to be better if you were, like, a poor farmer than, like, a poor uh, worker in this minimum wage job, you know, I, I think there's not something completely wrong about that, which is, I think, why the message has been so compelling. 